Here is an AQA GCSE Maths Foundation Paper 3 ready for your next GCSE exam. So question one, what is 6.219 to two decimal places? We look at the third decimal place, it is one, so it doesn't affect the eight, so it'll be 6.28. 50% of a number is 40, so that whole number must be 80 because 50% is half of it. Circle the correct statement. 0.7 is bigger than 0.07. Shapes A, B, C, D are on a square grid. Which two shapes are congruent? So congruency would be A and C because they've just been rotated slightly. Here are three number cards. Use all three cards to make the answer to this calculation a multiple of 10. That would have to be 38 times by five because eight times five is 40 and that ends in a zero. Use all three cards to make the answer to this calculation a single digit number. Three times five, because of bid mass, you would do that first, and then take away eight is going to give you seven. Use all three cards to make this a correct calculation. Six plus five, and then eight plus three. Eleven over eleven is going to be one. Greg wants to buy a games console that costs £267.50. He already has £125. He will save £7.50 each week. In how many weeks will he have saved enough? So 125 plus £7.50 times by something to equal £267.50. So if we take away the 125, 267.5 take away 125 is going to be £142.50. And then if we divide that by 750, we get 19. So 19 weeks. Match the algebra to the correct description. One has been done for you. If it's equal to, that's often an equation, and an expression is one that does not have an equals. A team of two players is picked from these people. The team must have one female and one male. Complete this to show all the possible teams. So we can have A and E, A and R, A and T, and then we can have L and E, L and R, and L and T, so six teams in total. 500 people started a race, 280 were men and the rest were women. 80% of the men finished the race, 30 of the women did not finish the race. So there's 280 men, that means there was 500 take away 280 is 220 women. 80% of the men finished the race, so if we do 280 times by 0 0.8, that gets us 224, which means that 56 did not finish the race. And then 30 women did not finish the race. So that must mean 190 did finish the race. <laughs> Put these distances in order of size. 1.8 kilometers is 1,800 meters. That stays the same. And one and three quarters is gonna be 1,750 meters. So the shortest is 1,600. The key part with these is make sure you write them in their original form and that one will be 1.8 kilometers. AB is a straight line. Work out the size of angle X. So 103, again, make sure you write your workings. I know it's tempting not to. 103 add 49 is 152, and then 180 take away 152 is equal to 28 degrees. Some players were asked the shirt color of their football team. Each answer was either white, blue, red, or green. A pie chart is shown, two of the sectors are shown. We need to complete the pie chart. So the pie chart has to add up to 360 degrees. So 360 take away 75 add 165. So 75 add 165 is 240. So that means if we take that away, it's going to be 120. And if red is three times the number of green, this is almost like splitting it in the ratio three to one. So that's going to be 90 and that's going to be 30. So you would draw this accurately with a ruler, of course, and you would have your red here and your green here in a little 30 degree angle there. There were 600 players altogether. How many players answered white? So we know that 360 degrees represents 600 players. So white was 75 degrees. So if we do 360 divided by 75, that means we've divided by 4.8 to get down to there. So we need to do 600 divided by 
which gets us 125 players. Millie has an equal number of 20p coins and 50p coins. The value of her 20p coins is £2.80. So £2.80 divided by 0 0.2 is going to be 14 coins. So if we do 0 0.5 pounds, technically, times by 14, that's going to get us £7. So £7 plus £2.80 is going to equal £9.80. Here are ticket prices for a theme park. Freya buys tickets for three adults and four children. She pays the cheapest possible total cost. How much does she save compared to buying all single tickets? So four marks, you'd have to show both, even if you can spot it straight away. So three adults, so 48 times three, and 26 for children, so four times 26. If we add both of those up, we're going to get 104 and 144, which means if we add those together, it's going to be £248. But with the deal, as you can see, two adults and one adult is going to make three adults. And in total, four children. So that is exactly what we need. So 82 add 120 is going to equal £202. So the special offer tickets is going to be the better deal. How much does she save? We have to do 248 take away 202, which is going to equal £46. Leroy buys five single adult tickets. He uses a voucher that reduces the price of the tickets by a quarter. In total, how much does he pay? So five single tickets, that would be five times 48, which is equal to £240. And then if we want to take a quarter off, we can just times it by 0 0.75, because that's like 75%. And that gives us £180 in total. N is negative, circle the expression that is positive. When we square a number, no matter whether it's positive or negative, it's always going to be positive as the outcome, because a minus number times a minus number is always a positive number. Here is a formula. Draw the graph of 3.6x from 0 to 20. So you could here sub in the values of x. So if you had x and y, 0, 5, 10, 20, for example, so that's 3.6 times 0 is going to be 0. 3.6 times 5 is going to be 18. 3.6 times 10, 36, and 72. So we can plot all of those. So 0, 0, it all works out nicely. So in the formula y equals 3.6x, y is the speed in kilometres per hour, and x is the speed in metres per second. We want to convert 50 kilometres an hour to metres per second. So if we just find 50 on here, and then go down, you can see that goes to roughly 14, or exactly 14. Alternatively, we could do 50 equals 3.6x, so x if we divide it underneath, which gets approximately 14 to the nearest whole number anyway. Convert 30 metres per second to the miles per hour. We know that y is equal to 3.6 times by 30, and that is 108 kilometres per hour. So if we want one mile an hour, is equal to 1.61. We know that 108 goes there and we want to work out that miles per hour there. So what you would want to do here is if you divide 108 by 1.61, you can see what we've times by to get from 1.61 to 108, which is 67 point something. And then we times that by the one on the opposite side. So it is just 67.08, for example. So 67.1 miles an hour, let's say. A record was kept of the number of days that 25 students were absent one term. The chart represents the results. Work out the mean number of days absent. So what we actually want to do here is times them. So five students had one day absent, so that's five in total. Now six students had two days absent, so that's 12 days in total. Eight students had three days absent, so that's 24. That would be eight, and that would be 20. If we add all those together, that is going to come to 69 days in total, and we want to divide that by the 25 students. And that comes out to 2.76 days per student. Always double check with your means. Just make sure the mean makes sense because 2.76 comes roughly around here. And as you can see, most of the data is centered around that point anyway. So that's really good. One of the students is chosen at random. Work out the probability that the student was absent for less than four days. So there was 25 students in total, so our probability is going to be out of 25. 
and less than four days would be one, two or three days in total. As you can see, five students were absent for one day, six here and eight here. So five add six add eight is equal to 19. So 19, again, just put the workings here just to be safe. But 19 out of 25 would be our answer there. Bobby has these notes. The total value of her notes is T pounds. Write a formula for T in terms of X. So T is equal to 3 times 5 plus 10 times X. So we can write this as 15 plus 10X. And that is our final answer. The side elevation and plan of a cuboid are shown on the centimetre grid. Draw the front elevation of the cuboid on this centimetre grid. So from the side, you can see it's three high, and from the plan, you can see it's two wide. So we are literally just going to want to do a two by three rectangle, exactly like that. And it sometimes is worth just writing the scales down so you know exactly what you're doing. To the nearest thousand, there are 18,000 people at a festival. The minimum that could be is 17,500. The maximum would be 18,499. Circle the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 5x plus 2. When you have a parallel or perpendicular question, literally just look at the gradient. Now the gradient comes before the x, so there, which is the 5. Which other one has an x value of 5? That one there, so that's our answer. A, B, C, D represents the plan of a field. There is a path across the field that starts at B and is the same distance from B, A to B, C. So what we would want to do, this is a loci question. We'd want to get our compass, and I apologise, I don't have a compass digitally. I can't really do it on here. But we would set our compass to a certain distance, doesn't really matter what distance. And we would do a big arc like this. You only really need the middle points here, though. We would then take our pointy bit of the compass and put it on these two arcs here. And again, as long as the length reaches far enough, we want to do a mark there from the point and also put it here and do a point like that if that makes sense. And then our line is going to go through there, and that would be a perfect split between BA and BC. Let me know in the comments if you want me to explain that a bit further, because it's not the easiest of topics. So that would be the position of the path. A is 2 times B. In these situations, what I say to people is make up some numbers. So if A equals 10, B must equal 5. So that means A to B would be 10 to 5, which is the same as 2 to 1, which will be that far one there. Use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the value of x. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And as you're aware, current year 11s, you are given the equation for this. So we are working out the long side so we can keep it as that. We don't need to rearrange. 32 squared, add 60 squared. And then we square root the whole thing is going to give us c. So if we substitute this in, 32 squared, add 60 squared is going to give us 68 when we square root that. Before we move on to the next question, I'm very happy to announce that I've recently partnered with Revise Guys. Now, if you feel like over the next year you could do with a helping hand and a guide through to your GCSE exams, then I highly recommend you check these guys out. For the price of only a few private tutoring sessions, you can get full access to over 10,000 exam style questions, 250 unique past papers. This alone will be enough to get you way above where you currently are and also really informative guided videos on every single topic you can imagine for your GCSE Maths. I've got the links to all of this in the description. Even if you just think it might be useful, please go and check them out. And if you use code BRAINSTORM, you can get £25 off of their course for the entire year. Thank you for your time, and let's get back to the next question. Question 25. Chris visits a library. He cycles to the library in half an hour at a speed of 12 miles per hour. So he goes for half an hour at 12 miles per hour. He stays at the library for one hour, as we can see at the bottom, and then he then cycles home. Work out the speed in miles per hour at which Chris cycles home. So to get the speed, we're going to need the distance over the time. We know the time is 0.75 hours because it's like 45 minutes. But we still need to work out the distance. So if Chris does half an hour at a speed of 12, that is going to be a total of six miles. So that must mean that there is six. 
So that also means that the distance he has to travel back home is also six. So that's going to be six divided by three quarters. And that must mean the speed is equal to eight miles per hour. These two triangles are similar. Work out the value of A. So straight away with any question like this is we just want to spot the scale factor. So 20 divided by 16 gives us a scale factor of 1.25. So A would be 12 divided by 1.25. And that is going to equal 9.6. Circle the expression that is equivalent to x minus 1 all squared. If we expand this out, it's just going to be x minus 1, x minus 1, x squared minus 2x plus 1, this one right there. Here is some information about 26 houses. A, B, C are all different numbers. The median number of bedrooms is 3.5. Work out a possible set of values for A, B and C. So we know there are 26 houses in total. So 7 plus 8 plus A plus B plus C must equal 26. Now the median value falls at 26 plus 1 divided by 2, which is going to be the 13.5th house. Now to get a median of 3.5, that must mean it must be exactly in between the 3 and the 4. If we do like a cumulative frequency on the right hand side, that's 7. If we add 2 to that, that makes 9. We want 3 to be at 13. So that must have to be at 4, making our total 13. C has to be something else to make sure that by the end of it, they all add up to 26. So this must have to be 5. That would make it 18, and that would be 26. So A, we're saying, is 2, B is 4, and C is 5. And that should give you the right answer. A rectangle has a length of 60 and a width of 40. The length decreases by 15%, and the width decreases by 10%. So first of all, what do those decreases correlate to in terms of a length? So 60 times by 0.85 would show a decrease of 15%. That equals 51. And 40 times by 0.9 will be 36. So the perimeter now decreases supposedly by 25%. Let's just work out what the new perimeter is. So we've got 51 there, 36 there, 36 also there, and 51 there. So two lots of 51, add two lots of 36, 174. Now the perimeter before would have been just 200. Now as you can see, 25% of 200 is equal to 50, and 200 minus 174 does not equal 50, so they are wrong. Expand and simplify fully, we just do our claw method here, and also because there's a negative on the second one, we have to include that in there. So 8c plus 12 minus 5c plus 1. So 8c take away 5c is going to be 3c, and then 12 add 1 is going to be 13. And the final question, 4c so 4c is going to be 4 times the 4 and the 9, so 16 and 36, plus 3d, which is going to equal 6 and minus 15. So adding those together, we're going to get 22 and 21, and that is the end of this paper. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped, and good luck with your GCSE Paper 3 exam.